Hello and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, it is all about detail. We're going to be using two different tools. The uh, AI Structure Tool and the Details Enhancer Tool. Now with the AI Structure Tool, we can get rid of detail as well as add detail. And the same with the Details uh, Enhancer Tool. So let me show you how I work with these two tools. And let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start out today with the uh, AI structure tool and the first thing I want to do is I like this scene here this is a stock image by the way and I like it uh, I was just thinking it would be really cool if I could take some detail out of the sky and then pump up detail in the other areas of the image I thought that would give it some nice contrast of details okay so first off let's come up to the AI structure tool and let's take the amount slider and let's move it to the left and let's move it a good bit to the left and see how it's softening up the uh, sky really nicely. Now it looks horrible on the rest of the image, so let's go ahead and just mask that into the sky. So we'll come to Edit Mask and let's get a brush tool. And let's turn our mask eyeball on right here so we can see the actual mask we're drawing. We're going to paint this in. Now my softness is at 100%, my opacity is at 100%. So we're just going to go ahead and start painting in the negative structure. Now I'm going to do this really fast, but take your time and do it right. So I'm just going to come in here, paint this in. Okay, come around here. Maybe increase my brush size. I'm just using the right bracket key so I can get this painted in fast. Okay, and then let's come and click the eyeball here so we can see. So here's the before and after right here. So let's just click done. And let's click this toggle right here. Here's the before and here's the after. So right there you can see that's adding a nice effect. Now for the second step, I want to add another structure filter. So to do that, I have to come up here to layers and add a new layer. But before I do that, I want to show you this is the newest update. And I'll click on here about Luminar. This is uh, version 1.1.0. This update just came out. Highly recommend that you up, update it because they made some changes in here. But one of the changes they made was on the uh, first layer that we have. We also have, uh, we now have the uh, adjustments amount added. This slider is new. It wasn't here before. So I can take that. See, and I can adjust that. And that's a welcome addition for me. So I think that was really missing. They added it in. So thank you, Luminar or Skylum, for adding that back in. So I just wanted to point that out. But let's come here and to the plus right here and add a new adjustment layer. And let's come back to the Essentials tab right here. And we're on AI Structure. So this time we're going to add AI Structure. Okay, so we're going to add... Uh, somewhere right around in there looks pretty good. Now, I don't want it to be added to the sky. So what I'm going to do is come back to layers. I should have done this before I did this, but what I need to do is go to the first layer right here. Go back to Essentials. I'm just going to right-click this um, layer mask here and copy that mask. Okay. Come back to layers, come back to adjustment layer one where we just added the structure. And now we're going to come to the AI structure, edit mask, come to the brush tool. And we'll come up here to mask and we're going to paste that mask in. So we don't have to repaint the whole thing in again. But we need, we're getting the structure in the opposite area that we want it. And that, so what we need to do is come to mask here and just click invert. And now we just have the structure on the foreground section and on this little, I guess you call it a little hill back here, which I think looks really nice. So let's click this, uh, let's click done first. Let's click this toggle. So here's the before and here's the after. So we just added some nice uh, details and structure in this area right here. And we're still maintaining this nice soft look at the sky. So, so far so good. So let's click this eyeball. We can see the original, there's the before and there's the after. So already I love the contrast of details. So, you know, there's all kinds of ways that we can work with contrast. We can work light against dark. We can work color contrast, but we can also work details contrast. And this is working with a detail type contrast where we have a nice soft sky here versus a nice, detailed foreground so that gives us a nice detailed contrast look so that's kind of fun 
All right, so the next step is we're going to add some more detail, but we're going to use a different filter. This time we're going, going to use the uh, Details Enhancer filter. All right, now I want to add a little bit of Details Enhancer to the uh, to this desert floor here, this cracked earth right here. I just thought at, at bringing out some extra detail in here would look nice. I don't want to use the AI structure, but I want to use the Details Enhancer just to pop that out. Now, I just want to go back and show you something here. The reason I have two different adjustment layers here is because I used the structure filter twice, if you remember. Once for the negative structure in the sky and once for the structure on the foreground of the image. So I needed two adjustment layers. But now we can work on this second adjustment layer because we're not using any more structure filters, okay? So let's come back here to the essentials and let's come to our details enhancer. And what we're going to do here, let's zoom into the image. And let me pull this up a little bit here. And we're only interested in looking at what's happening on this cracked earth down here. So we're going to take the small details and we're going to bump that up a decent amount. Maybe somewhere around there. You don't want to overdo it, but whatever looks good, leave it at that point. You can always come back and readjust it. Now let's pour our medium details up a little bit. This is generally the way I like to work with these sliders is mainly I use a lot of small detail then a, not quite as much medium details and maybe just a little bit of the large details. Now you can see if I pull that up what it does there. But I just want a little bit of that large detail somewhere around there and I might take the sharpening too. And I love the fact that we have this sharpening slider here so I'm just going to take it and just add a little bit of sharpening here. And everything looks good here. And if you needed to tweak these adjustments, you could come to advanced settings. And we have details protection, masking, and we can adjust the sharpening radius if we needed to. But everything looks good, so I'm not going to mess with that. So we're happy with that. I think that looks good. So let's just click on the image and go back to a full-size image here. And there we go. And now I just want to mask in this detail to, the, uh, to this cracked desert floor right here so we're going to use the go to edit mask we're going to use the gradient mask and it says click and click and drag to draw the gradient so we're going to click and we're going to start to drag and move this up as you can see this graduation point starts to widen as i move this up well when you're continuing to hold down on it by the way that is once you let go it doesn't move anymore so that's a good little tip. So when you're so if you're if you're pulling up, you'll see it widening out. And if you're if you're happy with the widening point, you can unclick it and then start dragging it up from there. And in this point, uh, from here to here is the graduation point. So you got full effect right here, and then it graduates off up into here. So basically, what I want to do here is I want a lot of detail here, and I want it to fade off from here up to here. I just want to add a little bit of detail to this point right here. And if you need to straighten your filter out, just come out here. And if you come out to the right or left, you'll get a lot more. Uh, it's easier to adjust. It's you know because if you're in here, it's a little harder to adjust. But if you come out to the edge. It gets a little more tame for you, if that's a good word. So somewhere right around there. If you're happy with that, just click Done. Okay, and now let's toggle this. So here's our before, and here's our after. So I'm loving what's happening here. We have a lot of nice detail here. We have detail here, but it's nice and smooth, because I like the smoothness of this. I guess it's sand. I don't know. But it looks nice and smooth, and then we have this negative structure up here. So we have a lot of nice contrast going on here of detail. So let's click this eyeball so we can see here's the before and here's the after. And I think this image is coming along really nicely here. Now I'm going to do one, I'm going to add one more filter and I think it's going to, we'll call this one done. But it's mainly about the uh, structure and detail today. If you've watched any, any of my videos in the past, you know I always say take time, stop, really study your image after you make adjustments and see if anything needs, needs fixed or if you need to add anything. And I just thought it might be nice to add a little, um, what do I want here? Let's go to the pros tools here and a little bit of, and I'm, I'm thinking here, what do they call this? They call it adjustable gradient. I couldn't remember the name, so I was backpedaling there a little bit. So adjustable gradient. So I thought, what would it be? It would be nice if we could add a little bit of an adjustable gradient to this, okay? So let's come and grab that. We're on that same layer, so adjustable gradient. And this is cool. I want to introduce you to it today. We have a top and a bottom lighting here. We can set the orientation point, and it's kind of like the graduated filter. We can set a point here, and we can adjust this graduation zone too. 
So maybe let's do that. Let's just go like this. Because I'm thinking, what if we were da would darken the uh, foreground down a little bit here? And maybe warm it up a little bit. So let's go to bottom. Let's take our exposure. And let's just pull it back a little bit. And maybe somewhere right around there. What happens if we add a little bit of contrast to it? Maybe just a slight contrast bump. And let's play with our shadows. Let's go one way or the other. And let's just leave it where it was. I think it looks good. The highlights, I'm going to leave where it is. And maybe pull that exposure down. Maybe just a little bit more. And what if we warmed that up a little bit? Just not much. Just a little bit. Maybe to about a... 13 maybe somewhere right around there so let's click this toggle so here's the before and here's the after i like what's that's hap what's happening to that there now let's play with the top a little bit now with the top let's see do we want to mess with the exposure brighten it up a little bit maybe just brighten it up just a tiny little bit let's play with our contrast here Maybe a little bit of contrast. I like what's happening in this area here. It's making these darker areas a little darker and the lighter areas a little bit lighter. Just a little bit of that. And do I want to add any warmth here? Let's see. Or coolness. And maybe just a little bit of warmth. Not much. Maybe around a 7 here. And so now let's click this toggle. Here's the before and here's the after. With the adjustable gradient. And I think... That looks really nice, and I think we can call this one done. Well, we're finished with this image today, but let's go back and take a look at the original. So we started out here, which is really a nice image, and we ended up here, and I think we've made some nice improvements to it. And today it's all about adding detail and negative detail, positive detail, however you want to say that, but we're adding contrast with detail. So there's many different ways of adding contrast to your images. We can add it with color, we can add it with light, we can add, add contrast with details. We can have all these things working for us in our images, giving us nice and powerful, impactful images that'll stand apart from other people's images. So, And that's what this, uh, what I'm trying to show you is different ways to edit your images and pull all these different effects in and come out with a really great image at the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified about it. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see each and every one right here next time. But until then, happy editing.